What's good with the YouTube, y'all already know, Big Flocko with the Convex Perspective, and I'm gonna smash, dash, slide on through with a little bit of energy. Please hit the like, subscribe, comment, do all those things to help support this channel, and hit that bell notification for future fire content. As you can tell by the title and thumbnail, Sammy Luna, aka Wero, Werito, Dragon, De Sajo, Value Horseshoe, was just, has just transferred out from Atwater. Now, if you guys know, he's one of the ones that took the same deal that Chuko did and got sentenced the same day as Chuko. They took these deals way back in October. Um, I think it amounted to about 14 years, 12 years, somewhere in that range. I think him and Chuko have a date of 2035 when they are anticipated to get released. This tells me that Chuko should be on the next thing smoking in the next week or two. You should find himself in the feds as well. Now, um, currently, Sammy, he's being held in a... Um, what do you call it? a transit center over there at Victorville, which is kind of common. He'll probably go from here to his next destination, which will probably be Admax, Florence. Now, there still is four individuals that are still fighting that were the main defendants in this case, which would be Cornell Perez, um, DC, uh, George uh, Puppet Frankel, as well as Trinidad Martinez Trini. All those four individuals are still fighting their cases. Now this is going to be interest, interesting, right? Because from my understanding, there's been a lot of reports that have been put in on Chuko. A lot of investigation and it doesn't look too good for Chuko, right? At all. Now Sammy's going. And you guys already know how Sammy is, right? He's all about himself. He'll cross anybody up if it's going to secure his position and his standings. A few green lights that were imposed, right? That he stepped out of the boundaries of his jurisdiction, right? He's going to have to answer for. As well as some of his conduct and stuff that he did impose and enforce out there in San Jose. Including the situation with um, Gangster Gucci. Cheeks. From Westside Mob. So, a lot of people don't know, right? That as soon as Operation Quiet Storm landed, right? There was already individuals that were reaching out to alternative channels in the feds. And that were reporting everything that was going on within the state leadership now Sammy he was involved in almost every situation somehow some way because he has that that type of a uh, you know alter ego that needs that attention that needs to be looked at like he's somebody but doing so he left a lot of loose ends that weren't tightened right a lot of people have been filing their complaints everybody's being afforded their due process Investigations are being ran, and now answers are going to be given. And with those answers are going to be repercussions, consequences, okay? They can go for as simple as just being demoted and render some type of discipline to Yastuvo, being expelled from the organization. One thing about the old leadership, I will say this. They don't like individuals who haven't proved or earned their standings, right? To abuse the authority in which they do, such as this individual. There's numerous situations, like I said, man, where he took it personal out on others. There's actually fucking, like I said, communications I've dropped before about him deliberately crossing up Gangster Gucci because Gangster Gucci said something about him. He's tried to clear dudes from his hood just to take out Gangster Gucci. That's another thing people forget about, right? In just any type of scenario where it became personal, man, he's benefited off. Okay? As, as well as his past, everybody knows what happened when he was riding with the new flowers. When you have a past like that, you're supposed to be ten times better than what you are from then. He's doing the same shit that he did when he was in high desert setting homeboys up. So it's going to be interesting to see how that plays out and what explanation he has. Because everything that's talked about that I dropped in the video, they all know about that. It's the actions that have happened currently that are going to make everything worse. As well as him, his uh, continued support of Chuko. Like I said, they both took deals together. You know, a lot of the blame on a lot of stuff that's happened has gone directly towards Chuko. Okay? Chuko was the young aspiring leader who kind of overstepped his, his boundaries a little bit with the, the federal leadership. And insulted a lot of people. Now there's a lot of dudes that support Chuku, But at the end of the day. Brass is going to speak.
Now, in a situation like this, what to expect, right? Immediately upon um, fucking uh, Dragon getting there, Sammy, he's going to immediately be got at to pretty much relinquish everything that he has. Pretty much his status and um, any rank that he holds will be pretty much put on ice. Now, he's going to go through a different level tier of uh, pretty much investigation. And pretty much whoever's going to be getting at him directly is going to get at him one-on-one. -on -one. He's going to be basically dealing with just one person. But a lot of the information is going to be shared amongst other Kanadis. I would have to believe that the investigation is going to be run by either Mad Dog or by Pocky. Or potentially by both. In any event, little information is going to be relinquished by the household, right? By the Carnales. They're basically going to slowly, slowly start to get information from them. Yet they already have had numerous reports from a lot of different individuals. All that have been passing through over the last nine months. They're already going to know his rank, areas that he was in control of, who he was in communication with. They don't need to go through all that. Now they're going to have to get into the, basically the gritty details, right? About what was going on, what was being said. Right, and any type of crimes that he's being accused of, he's gonna have the right to present his evidence or his testimony of what will happen. In addition to that, they're gonna be asking them questions about other carnales like uh, DC, you know, Chuco, Conejo, uh, Puppet, all those that were deeply involved in the state's leadership, as well as all those that are holding regiment commander positions at certain facilities. Street regiment commander positions and whatnot. Now, if his career is deemed salvageable, you never know what type of restrictions they may place upon his status. There's been people who've been demoted from a Cat 3 all the way to Cat 1 and were never to hold any position within the organization. That could possibly happen with uh, Sammy. You know, Sammy has, a, like I said, a long, extensive history of questionable actions and choices and he has showed that he could take things a little too personal and will put his own personal feelings or actions before that of others. Now, some of these guys are already looking bad because they were seized in the state at different facilities. And some of these guys, like I said, they uh, talk a little too loosely around the wrong individuals. And what I mean by that, you know, uh, other insoldados, lower and carnads, even some northerners. And the way in which they may be speaking about certain people in the feds to turn around get to the feds and then just start following their file that's going to make a lot of people look at certain individuals a certain way i remember back in the days getting in arguments with Wicho right from san jose about carlitos tell him now he wasn't like that this and that and he just would would not allow it to go uh unheard what he had to say about carlitos come to find out the reason why was because tch, about 15 years before, Carlitos pretty much put Wicho on the spot for not handling his business. So they strip Sammy of his power, man. I wonder how he's going to behave. If they overturn um, calls and like clear Frank, uh, no, Gangster Gucci, right? Like a lot of individuals I know, a lot of Northerners and Souls and even Carnales want fucking uh, Cheeks to come back. If all the shit he was talking, right, trying to get dude hit and trying to do all this, and they bring back Gangster Gucci like they should, Sammy's going to have a lot of fucking inner feelings, right, that he can't even speak on because if he does, they're going to shut his ass down even more. Now, there is one thing I can tell you guys, right? There's going to be a change in the culture as far as how the North has been operating like the last 5, 10 years. There's going to be a huge change coming from what I hear. And from my understanding, the other side's not going to like it too much. A big change. In any event, man, all you got to do is, man, turn on social media, watch the five years of crazy chaos and stuff that's been going on, the prison, jail, streets. And if that doesn't encourage you to stay away from that life, man, I don't know what will, man. Because, like I said, look at everything that has occurred with different individuals, different sets. The game ain't the game no more, but even then... There's nothing to be proud about living that type of lifestyle, man. You know, um, a lot of these men made these choices because this is all they got. They got a life sentence. 